So for project number one, you are going to need a wreath form. This one's just like one of the wicker ones from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and cut the tag off and I tied this piece of lace that I had laying around and I went ahead and hot glued that to the wreath. Just be extra careful that you do not get the hot glue on your fingers because I've burnt myself many a times. And now I'm just going ahead and taking this flower, I'm cutting off the stem and I'm hot gluing that to the wreath and pressing down. And then I'm adding this glitter spider that I got from Michaels last year. You can use whatever you want as an embellishment and this is the final look. This next project is super easy. You're just gonna need these glass vases from the Dollar Tree. I cut some lace that I had laying around and I went ahead and hot glued that around the center of the glass vase. Be extra careful when doing this so you don't burn your fingers and press down with the scissors or whatever utensil you can. I got these wood Scrabble letters from Amazon and I just went ahead and spelled out boo and I'm hot gluing that onto this project and that is so simple. You can add more stuff if you want, but I like the simplicity of that project. And for the next glass vase, I am going to take some different ribbon and going to hot glue that to the glass vase. Now I'm taking these wooden pink pumpkins that I painted and I also added a bow embellishment that I got from AliExpress and I'm going to hot glue those to the vase. You can do this in whatever style you want. You can only do one. You can do a stack of them. It's totally customizable. So for this next project, I'm just taking a bigger wreath form that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut off the stems of these roses and hot glue them to the top of the wreath. You can do this in whatever way. You can go all the way around. You can add in fall leaves. Um, this isn't really fall, but it's still kind of, you know, neutral to go with the fall theme. So I don't know. I just really like how this wreath came out. It's very minimalistic. It's very simple and it's very easy to make. For this next project, I went ahead and I painted a pumpkin pink. I just used pink spray paint because it's really easy and you can do it on either side. If you don't want to do the other side, you don't have to. And then what I did was I cut out some lace. I hot glued it to the base. You could totally do this with Mod Podge. Make it last longer and then I went ahead and I cut off the excess off the side to complete the look. The next step is to place what you want to add to the pumpkin. So I went ahead and I added these glitter spiders that I got from Michaels last year. You can add whatever you want. You can spray paint things from the Dollar Tree and add them and add glitter to them. Totally customizable. And then I went ahead and I spray painted this metal harvest sign pink. You can do it white. You can do it gold. Anything will work. I'm now adding some lace and I'm hot gluing that together to add to the top so that way I can hang this on my door. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you just want to like lean it against something, it's totally up to you. And then I went ahead and I added a little pearl embellishment to hide the hole because previously there was twine to hang this up and I just cut that off because I thought it wasn't as pretty as the lace. For this next project, I went ahead and I picked up these Dollar Tree salt and pepper shakers. I spray painted them, waited till they dried. I spray painted the lids white. You could totally do whatever colors you want. And then I went ahead and hot glued some lace around the center of the shaker. And I repeated that step to the other shaker. And then I went ahead and added some pearl embellishments that are also from the Dollar Tree. Pearls have an adhesive on the back, but I prefer to hot glue it to the shaker just to make it last a little bit longer. And I don't recommend using these as actual salt and pepper shakers. It's totally up to you, but I just wanted to use them as decor, you know, just in the kitchen. So for this last project, this one has definitely got to be my favorite. I went ahead and I spray painted this pumpkin, but before I spray painted it, I just took off the little embellishment. That way it would be easier. And also I wanted to paint over the glitter letters that 
are appearing as you can see it says thankful and blessed and I'm just going over that with a white acrylic paint you can use whatever colors you would like and once that is dry I went ahead and I re-glued the embellishment but you could totally use whatever embellishment you would like but yeah guys that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it feel free to give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below which of these diys was your favorite make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming content and also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media everything will be linked down below as usual and i will see you guys in my next lovely video